Hey, what is on everybody? My name is Ethan and welcome back to some more Banana Boat SMP. Here we are. We're at the old campsite. We've got a new friend. For those of you who are familiar with my uh, factions that I attempted to do for a little bit there. Good old Charles Bluington, the blue team vanilla sheep, is here at the base. Um, he did have a lead, but it disappeared. It keeps happening. The leads keep disappearing. So um, both leads are now gone. Yeah, used both of those up. But uh, Charles is here in his little pen. He's safe for a little while. Although, now that he's officially been in a video, he might not be as safe. But anyway, some things here have changed at the spawn and stuff like that. I'm going to quickly show you guys around. Let's uh, let's go for a look up over here. Kaleido has brought the road plans to right here so that I can connect them to my house on my own, which is pretty neato. That's pretty cool. The bridge is in. The bridge is in. Oh, we're on the new Snapshot 2, which is 14W31A, which adds some neat little things. But yeah, here's a nice little bridge here. It's pretty stuff. It's got some buttons on the side of it, stuff like that. It's cool. It is cool, cool, cool. So let's head up over here. The stairs have finally been put in here. And if we head up over towards the spawn, up. Oh, it is going to be night time. So I'm going to... I'll get... I'll go to sleep at the spawn up over here. It doesn't really matter. We've got some things over here. I don't know if I showed you guys that, um... Peckin and Bell did the nether. There's the nether wart that I planted the other episode. Let's get on over here. There's been some improvements to this place here. I'm not sure if I showed you guys, but it actually looks like a proper house now. It has a roof and everything. Check this out. We go up here. It's a roof. There was a birthday cake for Austin. He hasn't even picked up his birthday present. Whoa. Somebody went all out on that. Four diamonds. Somebody's rich. All right. So let's get asleep. That way we don't have to worry about any of the scary monsters. Alright, cool. So, let's go and check out the new thing that was added. The rabbits. Rabbits make a sound now. That's right. Rabbits make sounds. That's pretty cool, right? Right? Rabbits make sound. Hey, here's the path. The path is actually going to loop all the way around and come back up to here. One thing I've noticed in this snapshot is this. See how there's, um, there's brackets around all the item names? I don't know if that's intentional. It's weird, though. It's definitely different. I don't know if it was in the last version or what, but I only just noticed. Here's a rabbit. As you can see, he makes no sound until punched. <laughs> Do you hear their cute little squeaks when you hit them? There's Jeremy's lighthouse. There, it's adorable. I don't know if I want a pet rabbit, but I do know that when you hit them, they squeak. Come on. Aww. Oh, the little, 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 little squeaky squeak. <laughs> this sword's gonna break. Throw it on the ground. Get out of here, sword. Break on your own time. So there's gonna be a fancy bridge that has to go down here to cover this span of water. Spance. This span of water. Wait. I don't know what the right word for that is. I don't know. Anyway. But let's go over here. I've been developing my house in a... Survival, uh, creative world, not a survival world. I've been making my house in a survival world, and it is 21 wide by 25 long, and I don't know if it's going to fit up here. Let's have a quick look here. If it fits, we will be cutting it quite close, so if we started here, which we won't because we're going to level this here out and sort of bring these two hills together, maybe even have a little bridge there. We could have an under tunnel there. That'd be neat. But as we start here, one and two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. <gasps> Twenty-one! It'll actually fit. It's like that's how wide it is, isn't it? Yes. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Mate, we have so much room for a house here. Yes, it's perfect. I got the neatest little, uh, well not little, but rather large dark wood semi-mansion thing built in another world. And I think it's going to look really good. But uh, what we might actually do is a little treat for you all SMP viewers. Let's switch over to the other world and we'll have a quick look. 
Alrighty guys, so here is my flat world. There's my failed attempt at a first house. But uh, here is the house that I've actually decided to go with. Or something along the lines of this anyway. So we have these sort of arching um, cobblestone bits along here. Which will follow around to this side where we meet up with another... I don't know what to call this, but another one of them. And we got windows along the side here. Lots of light. I want it to be like... I want it to feel open, not too enclosed. We got another arch, and then larger windows on this side, and as you can probably tell, I haven't actually done the inside yet. At all. Like, there's no inside that has been done. But I'll have to figure out something to make it pretty. But uh, one of the plans is for this, so far, is that if I have the staircase around here, oops. If I have the staircase around here somewhere, um, possibly here or something, just down like that. This up here will be the storage area up here. You know, I'll have to um, fill in this bit along here. But this could be the storage area up top here. And then down the bottom here, I can just have all my normal stuff. Like, this could be my living space here with my bed and everything. And this will just be, like, two hallways. Okay? I don't really know what I'm going to do here, actually. I could put the stairs, like, right there. Really easy access. The stairs could go up and then back down, like that. So, like, um, I don't know where it would start from, but... The stairs could go, please go away bats, along there, and then they could also go along there if they fit. How close is that to fitting? One, two, three. Oh shit, did I actually get that right? One, two, three. Wow, because I'm actually going to block this off like that. So three and three. I found the middle. Is that really the middle? Holy crap. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's the middle. Okay, that'll work perfectly. As long as I build it to this scale, I can put the staircase right here. Probably too wide, to be honest with you. Um, something more like that. Too wide or something like that. Uh, and then that would be no matter which door you came into, it's relatively easy access to get up here to the chest room, which is really, really cool. And if I ever get really, really lazy, I can just put a ladder like here. You never know. And I have room here to build a proper like lounge room. So I would probably take out the floor and lay down this which would be a lot nicer don't really know and then I got to figure out if I'm going to run something along here to make this a little bit of a smoother transition like that I would say I don't know because then I, I guess I could frame the windows like this actually let's do that let's just have a quick look at that one if I frame the windows on the inside like that it might look nicer I'll have to, I'm going to keep playing around with it guys, don't you worry. But uh, I definitely want to have like that done up. Because I don't really like having to look at this here. So, I guess I could, no, it has to be that. So you can, so it looks nice from the outside. Or be that, I guess. Don't really know. But anyway, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, the only one like sort of problem I have with it is it is a perfect, it's not a perfect square, but it's pretty much a square. Uh, we'll see if I end up changing anything. But I like it. I like it's got two two layers to each wall, sometimes even three, and I don't know. I just built it off the top of my head, so I'm pretty happy with it. Pretty happy with it. I think maybe I could do um that. Maybe not. We'll see. I'll figure it out. So, as for the house, <laughs> just imagine it occupying about the same amount of space as the trees there. It's gonna look good. And then, we might even be able to keep our little campsite down here. We've got a little, like, gravel path down to it. And a little gravel path that goes down over there. Down to the fishing hole. That could be so neat. Oh, I'm excited. I am excited. I've got plans. I was worried I wouldn't have plans. So it wouldn't be any fun. But, let's look what's down here. I'm sure some of you have been like, Ethan, you've jumped over that hole twice. What the hell is in that hole? Well, I went caving. Where is it? There! Ha! <laughs> ah, I thought I was standing on it. Wait, what am I doing? We need a new sword. There we go. Alright, so. Down here, I went caving. And like, because I was like, I'm going to find a mob spawner. And then, myself, Peckett, and Austin can like, set it up. And make a community mob spawner. Nope. No way in hell. This is my mob spawner. This is right under my house. This is going to be my personal mob spawner. Look at how great it is. Look at how great it is. There's nothing for miles. Oh, look, coal. I needed some of this. I want to light up the rest of spawn. I think I'm going to have to do that one episode. Just, like, light up all of spawn and talk to you guys. Could be fun. But, yeah. um, 
this is my spawner now. <laughs> Just because it's like directly under my house. I'm going to find a different one to be the like public community spawner. But yeah, this one is just... It's right in the way. Where the hell... Ah. Couldn't figure out how to get out. <laughs> I was lost. But yeah, this is going to be like right on top of where my house is, so... Who knows, it may even connect a little side room here or something, so it's just like, the spawn now. Because that's where I'll get my XP from from now on. We're going to be um, crushing zombies as our XP farm for quite a while. Hopefully find a skeleton farm somewhere nearby so we can get a bunch of arrows, but... You know, we can always farm for some arrows, break that gravel. I guess if I get a fortune pick, uh, fortune shovel, it's pretty easy. Pretty goddamn easy. But yeah, we've got a couple of these torches here. Let's get this done. Let's get this done. Uh, that and that. I'll get me eight. This won't be enough torches, but let's just do a little bit more of our area here. You know, just want to make sure that it's safe and sound. So some people have put some torches here that I that wasn't me. But a lot of the mobs have been spawning really up over here when I'm on my own. Mobs spawn everywhere. It's hell. <laughs> They're scary, and they have enchanted gear, and because, like, it's a plains biome, they can see you. You know, there's nothing blocking their line of sight. And in this snapshot, um, they use a new threaded pathfinding to track the player, which apparently makes them even more intellectual. Apparently it makes them a little bit better at not getting stuck on things, by the looks of it. I haven't fully tested it, but someone's done a nice little job putting some torches around for me, which was very, very nice of them. Oh, look at this. They missed so many gaps. They left, like, so many, what I would call, blind spots in the torching. Okay, one more torch right there. That, should, that ought to do it, right? Okay, the place is definitely not as dangerous anymore. That's good. Maybe I should wait till nighttime and find out, but I don't really know. I don't want to do that. I want to enchant something. I want to enchant a shovel or... Let's go look at what we can enchant on our pickaxe. We need some lapis. Gonna need some lapis. Lapis, where are you? Hey, we guy. Spring should have just brought all the lapis. Don't know why I did that. But I nearly forgot that I was going to enchant in today's episode. But whatever. Now that the um, full table is done, I want to do a heap of mining and smelting and try and do some level 30 enchants on some diamond picks. Just to make life easier. Right. Just so that... When we're farming for things, we have, like, maximum efficiency. So you have to spend, you know, like... When you're making a bunch of videos in one day, you want maximum efficiency. <laughs> That's how we do. All right, let's get it. Let's get our enchant on. Get in there. All right, so we can do this one. Efficiency two. We can do efficiency one. Or oh, there's a silk touch at level. Th I'm gonna get to level thirty. Screw it. I'm gonna get to level thirty. And get that silk touch. That's what I need to do. I need a silk touch. Yeah, because then I can silk touch some ice. I really need ice. All right. I'm gonna get to level 30. You guys watch me, watch me get to level 30. Alright, despite my golden armor, I'm pretty sure that I reckon I could just kill enough mobs out in the world here to get to level 30. <laughs> yeah, freaking right. Alright, well I, try, I tried mining, but it was slow and I got bored. So, we're gonna do it though. You watch. I need the level, so I have to do it. Look at the bunnies and things around. Oh, shit. Shit. Okay. Ha! Everything wants a piece of me right now. Don't die. I mean, don't explode. Whoa! How did you just get speed? What the hell was that about? Hey, what's up? Okay, you're dead. All right, cool. What about you? Huh? You want some? You want some, spider? You want some? You want some of this? Stop hitting me. You'll damage my armor. Bastard. Okay, let's get an eat job going on. There's so many endermen around, huh? Oh, I don't know if this is a good idea. I've nearly gained a level already, though. If I kill Senor Sheep, I'll gain a level. Wow. Okay, Sheep, whatever. Um, didn't even want a level. Go to hell. Where are we at? Where are we at? Come on, mobs. No, no. Zombie, spider. Spawn right where the last zombie and spider was that I moided. Whoa! No, don't do that. If you lag like that, you'll kill my armor. Stupid spider! I can see why spiders are so such hassle. 
Okay, well this is going okay. Oh wait, don't miss the XP, Ethan. Level 21, this is a good enough start. We can do this. We can do this. Um, um, let's just, let's put this, I want to put this stuff into the, um, smelter. Oh, I'll go see if anybody else is in smelting stuff. I can just take the XP from that. <gasps> yes. What the hell? I'm in the strip mine. I'm going to strip mine for some XP. What is, why is there redstone along here? Was someone murdered? Oh, God. I hope not. Oh, look, XP. <laughs> I no longer care about the murder. As long as there is XP to be had. We're going to do this, though. We're, we're going to get to level 30. I can do it. I don't even care if I don't have time. We're going to do it. We're nearly level 22. It's only... There's only seven... Well... There's... Yeah... Okay, there's a lot of levels. Okay. Eight and a bit. Okay, how about that? Eight and a bit. Let's get down here. I'm already getting tired. <laughs> it's late in the evening. Well, it's only 6.30, but I haven't had dinner yet, guys. I haven't had dinner. My nose is itchy. Ah. Okay, let's get a move on. Come on, get out of my way, Gravel. You're just blocking my XP here. If I get, like, some redstone and stuff, I think that gives better XP than coal. I'm not oh, I should make torches. Kind of a vulgar asshole doesn't put torches down in the strip mining tunnel. Come on. Get your shit together, Ethan. How are you meant to be pro? Let's put one there. Alright, there we go. It's all good. I fixed it. I can return to being pro. Um, What else gives good XP? There's redstone, coal. There's lap lapis gives XP. Do diamonds give XP? I don't really know. I could use more diamonds, though. Always use me a fancy diamond sword. And even though I'm going to try and use gold armor the entire season... I want to make a full set of diamond armor in case, like, we do some sort of challenge thing that requires me to take off my gold armor. So, we might have to do that as well. Oh, dear. Look what I have done. Whatever will I do now? Oh, dear. That wasn't a good... That wasn't a good choice for what I should do. Uh, let's go up, because perhaps it's an unexplored cave. It's probably not. I think we've, we've done a lot of caving around spawn. It looks like there's already... Oh, no. Oh, okay. Yeah, we've been here before, but there's XP to be had, so... Let's try and block off this water real quick. I missed. Can we eat? No? There we go. Is that good? Cool. Alright, let's get these things. Oh, really? Oh, okay, that was a big jump in XP. Yeah, Redstone! Go, Redstone! You're a good, good friend of mine now, Redstone! That's awesome. Alright, this time, I'm not coming back until I am level 30. Alright, and welcome back! <laughs> um, I've just been sitting on my ass for ages doing, um, just killing zombies down in the spawner there. Just letting them spawn and then hitting them with the sword. So, we don't actually need any rotten flesh. Let's keep this leather just because we can. Oh, the, the rotten flesh is persistent. Okay, and now we're going to make a diamond pickaxe because if we can get silk touch on that or fortune, I, either of them would be perfect. But, uh, yeah. So let's head on over. Level 30. We got, yeah, we got the lapis on us still. So we're going to go on over and we can finish this episode with a nice enchantment, hopefully. Hopefully. Um, I know that there is plans. There are plans for me and Kaleido to start on the potato farm, which means that I would like to have a silk touch pickaxe in order to... What would be the best word for this? In order to get ice for the flowing system. Yes, that's right. Order to get ice for, like, the transporting the items. So let's see what we get here, though. Level 30 with a silk touch, efficiency, or efficiency 1. This is brilliant. Let's get silk touch and efficiency 4. Awesome. And, you know, it only used three levels because of the new level system. So it would be easy for me to get back to level 30 and enchant some more stuff. That's why it's so easy for everyone in the new series, like the new Minecraft and all that sort of stuff, for those guys to enchant so quickly. Because it uses, like, no levels. It's so great. Uh, so yeah, anyway guys, next episode I will be with Kaleido and we're going to be making... Uh, we're going to be starting on the automatic potato farm for the whole town here. Uh, which is really important because we still all sort of struggle with food. You know, every now and then we all have to go out and kill a bunch of cows or something like that. 
So it should be good. But anyway, guys, like always, I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to procrit that like button. Send me some love. You can also share and favorite this video for extra dexter love. I love it when you love. Uh, feel free to comment about the house if you got any suggestions. Uh, same thing with anything else around here, you know. And yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to check me out on Twitter and Google+. See you guys next time.